In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite man-beating concepts out of the tight offset tight end formation in Madden 23. You can find this formation in the Saints playbook, and if you want to get my entire ebook on the Saints offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while you are a member. So make sure that you're a Patreon member. If you're not, the link is down in the description. It's only 10 bucks to do so. But the play we're taking a look at today is going to be the Saints in or the Saints. Uh, in it has this really nice post route. It's one of the best routes in the game against man coverage. And then we're going to show you how to make this even better uh, against man coverage with some simple adjustments. So what we're going to do with this play is real simple. You don't need any hot route abilities. You don't need slot apprentice, any of that stuff. Um, you're just going to be able to flat out beat man to man coverage relatively easily. So what we're going to do from a setup perspective is we're going to slant both of the receivers on the left side of the screen. We're going to streak the uh, tight end. And then with the running back, what I like to do, you can either put him on a block or you can put him on a out route or flat route to the right side of the screen. From there, you're just going to motion this guy out. You want to snap just before he sets his feet and you have some really, really good reads that are going to be very effective for attacking man to man. One of the reasons why this route combo is so good is because when you pair a streak with this with this right side defender, even if they have somebody in the middle of the field to be able to defend that deep post route, because we have a streak to clear that out, it's going to be wide open over the middle. So you see right here, he's just going to cut and just destroys his man every single time. It's super effective against man. We're going to show you this against zone as well in just a second, but it really makes it really, really difficult to play zone um, or to play man coverage. So again, the users in the middle of the field, you know, he's going to maybe serve like a mid read type player. And then you have these slants. And this is why I like to put the running back on some kind of table route or out route. Um, and it's because it's going to open up the middle of the field really, really well. And you'll see, even if they put a zone over there to stop that slant, because you have that running back on a route, he's going to pull zones really, really well. If you have Hot Route Master and they are playing a lot of zone, the Ghost Route's really, really good as well. Um, but anyway, anything to the flat. Like, I also really like a block and release. I think a block and release is super good um, against man. The other route that you have against man is this motion out slant. The motion out slant has been kind of later in the season here has been kind of seen as one of the better man beating concepts in the game. So we're able to beat man on the left side in the flat area. We're able to beat man over the middle of the field. We're also able to beat man over on the right side of the field. And then we're able to beat man over the deep middle. So there's a lot of reads that we have against man coverage. Now, one of the other things I want to show you is what this does against cover three. This is why we really like to streak this defender uh, or um, this this tight end here. What you'll see is against cover three, a lot of times you can throw this right in here. You just want to click on agate before it gets to the thirds. And it's a really simple read for us to be able to attack cover three really, really well. Now, another route or uh, another covered shell that you're going to maybe a lot of people like to start running against tight is cover four. Um, what you want to do with this, throw it right here. You want to throw it before you see how, if I, you see how, if I wait too long, if they are in a cover four, I can, especially if they have mid zone knockout on their safeties, then I can get the ball KO'd like I just did. And that can be very de detrimental as you can see. But if I throw this early and I'll show you what that looks like. So if I throw this early, then what you should see here. So I throw that right in there. I'm going to just basically ag it and try to get away from the KOs. And you see that I can complete that. So I'm able to attack cover four that way. And so again, the user, if you think about what they have to do, they have to use her that deep, that deep route, that deep post route when you pair it with a streak. They pretty much have to go guard that. So the beauty of the route combo is now my slant underneath here is going to be wide open, as you can see. And that slant will get wide open against almost every coverage because you have the running back flat route that is going to pull the zones out and create little pockets that we can throw this into. So let me go back to a cover three. Again, we're just going to illustrate this by saying, okay, they're going to take away the best route on the field, which is the post route. And so then when you have these underneath slants, what can you do with them? There's a lot you can do with these slants this year. Uh, you see here again, I just throw it right before I got to throw that just a little bit earlier, but you can throw it before it gets there. Obviously if they're, you know, in a traditional cover three, then you can probably just hit your running back. Like my running back was probably wide open right there. So if that's the case, just take your running back. But typically what I like to do 
like I said, is if they're going to use her the the deep post route, then you should have like this wide open. You just want to ag it before he gets to the curl flat zone. And that's how you can throw slants, even if they're covered, uh, which is really, really helpful. Now, another thing that people like to do, specifically against tight, you're starting to see this a lot, is this idea of a double Mabel concept. Because they know they have to go guard that guy. I'm just going to illustrate that by putting a third there. But they know they have to go guard the post. So you'll see this a lot, where you're getting these like double Mabel coverage to try to slow down the corner routes and the outside attacking patterns. That's where this really shines, because there ain't nothing in the middle of the field to stop that right there. And their, their user is going to have to choose. Their user is always going to have to choose over there. And then the last little piece of this that I think makes it so, so good is late in the play what you have the ability to do. So, for example, and again, there's a lot of different adjustments people are making right now to try to slow down tight. You know, you're seeing stuff like this. Um, they have to use or this over here. And so if they're starting to get really adjusting, maybe they're trying to stop PA shot seams, which I believe is probably one of the most powerful passing concepts we've seen this year. What you're going to get now is this really late read where you've got that right there over the middle, super open, okay? So that is Saints in out of tight off, set tight in. If you want to get more uh, tips and tricks or just get the entire ebook on the Saints playbook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.